What if I told you that a kid who grew up homeless, slept in cars, and ended up $300,000 in student loan debt managed to build a life of freedom and financial success without a traditional nine to five job? Well, my name is Shane Hamas, and that kid was me. I went from living in tents in the forest to becoming a pharmacist making six figures, only to realize that the safe path wasn't so safe after all. So how did I go from counting pills to making over $100,000 a month on YouTube? And more importantly, why will I never go back to the nine to five again? Well, stick around because in this video, I'm going to share my journey and show you why the traditional career path might be the riskiest thing you can do in today's economy. So let's dive in. So let's start by busting the biggest myth of the working world, job security. We're fed this idea that a nine to five job is safe and stable. But let me tell you, that's a load of bull. I learned this lesson the hard way when I was just a kid. My dad was a successful engineer making really good money, seemingly set for life. Then one day, out of nowhere, a wall on his work site toppled over and crushed both of his legs. And just like that, both of our lives changed forever. The company my dad worked for, they played the legal battle game for years, leaving us struggling to make ends meet. And we went from middle class comfort to being homeless, living in tents and sleeping in our car. And it was all because of this false idea of job security. Now, here's the cold hard truth. Companies can cut you loose at any time, no matter how loyal or hardworking you are. Your job security is an illusion, a comforting lie that we tell ourselves to feel safe in an uncertain world. But when you work for yourself, when you build your own business, you create real security. You're not relying on a single paycheck or the whims of a boss who sees you as just another cog in the machine. Instead, you're building a system System that works for you 24 seven with multiple income streams that can weather any storm. Now let's talk about something you can never get back once it's gone, time. In a nine to five job, you're not just trading your skills for money, you're trading your life. Think about it. You spend most of your waking hours at work or preparing for work. You drag yourself out of bed when it's still dark, rush through traffic, sit in a cubicle all day, then fight through more traffic just to get home. By the time you're free, you're too exhausted to do anything but veg out in front of the TV. And then you go to bed and you start the whole cycle over again the next day. And I lived this life for years as a pharmacist. Sure, I was making good money, but at what cost? I missed family events, couldn't pursue my passions, and I felt my soul slowly dying with each passing day. When you break free from the nine to five system, you take back control over your life. Want to take a midday nap? Go for it. Feel like working at 2 a.m. because that's when you're most creative? More power to you. And I remember my days in pharmacy school, grinding 18 hours a day, barely sleeping. And now I work when I'm most productive and I have time for what really matters, which is family, friends, personal growth, and pursuing my passions. So time freedom is isn't just about leisure, it's about living life on your terms, designing each day exactly as you want it. It's about being present for the moments that matter, not just the ones your boss allows you to attend. Now, I know you might be wondering, Shane, how do I make this happen? Well, the first thing I recommend doing might sound a little paradoxical, but it's getting a job, but not just any job, a remote job, and not just any type of remote job, but a remote job where you're learning in-demand skills. This is the key, because when you get a remote job, you get a certain amount of location and time independence that you simply don't have in a normal nine to five, and you're getting paid to learn in-demand skills, which to be honest with you is worth a lot more than money. And then later on in the future, you can take these in-demand skills and you can turn them into a business or you can get a higher paying job. But either way, you are going to be in demand, which gives the power back to you. And if you don't believe me, let me tell you about Ivy. She was a biochemistry grad doing data entry, stuck in the time for money trap. And then she discovered digital marketing. And in just one to two months, Ivy transformed her life, landing a $65,000 a year job as a digital marketer. And she found a career that blends her creativity with her analytical ability two months into it i got into the course um and i was just kind of going through it and it just was interesting because one i didn't know anything about digital marketing um and he just kind of put it into a perspective where it's really just easy to understand, easy to apply. If you're interested in digital marketing, I have a free training that Ivy took herself that will tell you all about digital marketing, what it is, what the different types of digital marketing are, whether or not it's a good career for you and how you can get into it. And you can check that out down in the description and the pinned comment below. So back to our topic, let me paint you a picture of true wealth. It's not about having a fat bank account, although that's nice too. It's about waking up in a new city whenever you feel like it, opening your laptop, doing a few hours of work, and then spending the rest of your day exploring your surroundings or just doing whatever you want. And if that means working more, then you work more. If that means not working more, then you don't. The whole point is it's your choice. And when I was working as a pharmacist in Washington, I was tied to one location. My life was a monotonous loop between my apartment and the pharmacy. But now the world is my office. I've worked from beaches in Puerto Rico, cafes in Europe, and mountains in Asia. And the best part, my income isn't limited by local job markets or cost of living. I can reach a global audience and create a global impact all while living wherever I want. But here's the kicker. Location independence isn't just about travel. It's about the freedom to live wherever you want. 
want. Whether that's close to a family, in a place that inspires you, or wherever you feel most at home. And I remember the first time that I realized that this freedom was a real thing. I was sitting in a cafe in Puerto Rico with my best friend John, drinking a coffee, and I saw that I made more money that month from my YouTube channel than I ever did as a pharmacist. And I did it all from my laptop, thousands of miles away from any office. And that's when it hit me. This is the new wealth. Not being chained to a desk, but having the freedom to work from anywhere in the world. Now let's talk about everyone's favorite topic, money. In a nine to five job, your income is capped. Sure, you might get raises or bonuses, but there's always going to be a ceiling. You're limited by your job title, your company's budget, and how much time you can physically work. And I remember when I was working as a pharmacist, I was making good money, six figures a year. But I knew that no matter how hard I worked, there was gonna be a limit to how much I could earn. I was trading time for money and there are only so many hours in a day. But when you break free from the nine to five system and start your own online business, the sky's the limit. I went from making a solid six figure salary as a pharmacist to making multiple six figures a month with my online business. And the best part, it's not about trading time for money anymore. It's about creating systems that generate income 24 seven, even while I sleep. Now, let me give you a real example. When I first started my YouTube channel, I was making maybe a few hundred dollars a month. But as I learned more about content creation, monetization strategies, and building an audience, that number started to grow. And by the end of the year, I was making $10,000 a month from YouTube ads alone, and it didn't stop there. Today, my online business generates multiple six figures a month, and that's more in a single month than I used to make in a year as a pharmacist. And unlike my pharmacy job, where I had to be physically present to earn money, my online business works for me around the clock. But here's the real kicker. It's not just about making more money. It's about the impact that you have, the lives you can change, the freedom you can create, not just for yourself, but for others too. When you're not limited by a salary cap and a job title, you can donate more to causes that you care about, invest in other entrepreneurs, and create opportunities for people around you. The thing that I'm most proud of is the fact that my business partners and I have helped thousands of people get remote jobs. And the world is changing. I think the era of the nine to five job is gonna die pretty soon. And it's gonna unlock a higher level of freedom than we've ever had before. Now I know what you're thinking, Shane, this sounds amazing, but how do I actually start? Well, I got something special for you. And I created a guide called From Beginner to Six Figure Creator, Crack the YouTube Code Fast. This guide is going to be better than just about any paid course out there and it's completely free. And you can check that out down in the description and the pinned comment below. Now let's get real for a second. A nine to five job can be soul crushing. You're often stuck doing the same tasks day in, day out with little room for growth or creativity. And I remember my days as a pharmacist, counting pills, dealing with insurance companies, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. And don't get me wrong, it's an important job, but it wasn't pushing me to grow. But when you're building your own business, every day is a new challenge. You're constantly learning, growing, and evolving. You have to be, your business depends on it. So let me share a personal story. I've always struggled with ADHD and anxiety. And in school, I was a kid who couldn't sit still. He was always biting my fingernails and the sides of my fingers as well out of nervousness. And I was that annoying kid who would always shake his leg. And traditional education was basically just a nightmare for me. But when I started my own business, something incredible happened. Suddenly my ADHD became a superpower. The ability to hyper-focus on things I'm passionate about, that's gold when you're building a business. The constant need for new stimuli, perfect for coming up with fresh content ideas. And I went from being a shy, introverted kid who could barely string two sentences together in front of a crowd to speaking confidently in front of thousands. From struggling with traditional education to creating content that educates millions. And the personal growth you experience when building your own business is unparalleled. You become the best version of yourself because you have to. There's no boss to hide behind, no corporate policy to blame. It's all on you. And all that pressure creates diamonds. Now here's something they don't tell you about nine to five jobs. You're building someone else's dream. But when you create your own path, you're building a legacy. I think about my dad a lot. He was a brilliant man. A degree in aeronautical engineering, which is now called aerospace engineering, a pilot, a police officer, a volunteer firefighter, a veteran, but he jumped from job to job, always struggling to make ends meet. And this was especially bad after he got his legs crushed. And despite his talents, he never really built anything lasting for himself. And I knew I wanted something different, not just for me, but for the generations that come after me. And when you build a business, you're creating something that can outlast you, something that can continue to provide value long after you're gone. Now, let me give you a concrete example. When I started my YouTube channel, I was just trying to make some extra money. But as it grew, I realized I was building something much bigger. I was creating a platform that could educate and inspire millions of people around the world. And today, my content has helped countless individuals start their own online businesses and land remote jobs. So basically, I've helped a bunch of people create lives of freedom for themselves. And that impact will ripple out for generations to come. And it's not just about the money. It's about the impact that you leave the world, the lives that you touch, the change you create. That is a legacy worth building. And here's the beautiful thing. You don't need to come from money or have a perfect background to build a legacy. Remember, I've slept in cars and lived in tents. I've also lived in trailer parks in Section 8 housing, and I've experienced poverty firsthand. But those struggles didn't define me. They fueled me. They gave me the hunger and the perspective to appreciate and maximize every opportunity. And your legacy starts with a decision, a decision to break free from the nine to five grind and build something of your own, something that can grow beyond you and impact the world in a way you never imagined. Now, I know
know what you're thinking. Shane, this all sounds great, but I'm scared. What if I fail? What if I can't make it work? And you know what? That's normal. Fear is natural when you're considering a big change. I was terrified when I first considered leaving my pharmacy career. I had a stable job, a good salary, and the respect that comes with being a doctor. And leaving all that behind to pursue a YouTube career, it seemed crazy. I remember the moment I decided to go all in on YouTube. I was making more from my channel than from pharmacy, but I was paralyzed by the sunk cost fallacy. I kept thinking about all the years I'd spent in school, all the debt I'd accumulated. How could I walk away from that? But here's the truth. The biggest risk is not taking any risk at all. In a world that's changing so quickly, staying put is the most dangerous move you can make. The skills that are valuable today might be obsolete tomorrow. And I had to ask myself, what's the worst that could happen? If my YouTube channel failed, I could always go back to being a pharmacist. But if I didn't try, I'd always wonder what could have been. So I took the leap and yes, it was scary. Yes, there were moments of doubt. But on the other side of that fear, that's where the magic happens. That's where growth occurs. And that's where you find out what you're really capable of. And remember, courage isn't the absence of fear. It's feeling the fear and doing it anyways. And let me tell you, the view from the other side is worth it. Now, one of the best parts about breaking free from the nine to five, the amazing community you become a part of. When I was working as a pharmacist, I was surrounded by people who thought the same way, who had the same complaints about work, who were all stuck in the same rat race. But now I'm connected with entrepreneurs, creators, and dreamers from all over the world. And these people push you to grow. They support you when times are tough and they celebrate your wins. I remember a pivotal moment in my journey. I was sitting in a cafe feeling uncertain about my decision to pursue YouTube full time, but that's when I struck up a conversation with a guy who had a weird device that looked like a bull's horn. It was a portable satellite internet setup. Turns out he was making $20,000 a month working only five to 10 hours a week with a remote job. And he was a consultant, so he was basically his own boss. And he was traveling the world, living his best life, all while most people were stuck in their nine to five grind. And that one conversation changed the trajectory of my life. It opened my eyes to what was possible. It showed me that the lifestyle I dreamed of wasn't just a fantasy, it was achievable. And this is the power of surrounding yourself with the right people. In the traditional nine to five world, you're surrounded by people who are just trying to get by, who see work as a necessary evil. But in the entrepreneurial world, you're surrounded by dreamers and doers, people who are constantly pushing the boundaries of what's possible. And remember, you're the average of the five people you spend the most time with. So surround yourself with people who inspire you, who challenge you, who believe in your dreams, even when you're doubting yourself. And here's the beautiful thing. In today's digital age, your community isn't limited by geography. Through online forums, social media, and yes, even YouTube comments, you can connect with like-minded individuals from all over the world. And I've built friendships with people I've never even met in person. I've collaborated with creators on the other side of the world, and I found mentors who have helped me take my business to the next level, all because I stepped out of my limited social circle of my nine to five job and into the global community of entrepreneurs and creators. Now let's talk about the journey itself, because here's the thing, leaving the nine to five grind isn't just about the destination. It's about who you become along the way. When I first started my YouTube channel, I was terrible. Seriously, my first videos were awkward, poorly edited, and barely got any views, but I kept at it. I learned, I improved, and I evolved. And I failed more times than I can count. I've had videos flop, product launches that didn't go as planned, and days where I questioned everything. But each failure taught me something valuable. Each setback made me stronger. And let me give you a concrete example. When I first tried to launch a course, I was teaching people how to basically get the most out of college with the least amount of time, effort, and money, and it was an absolute disaster. I spent months creating the content, building the platform, and when I finally launched it, crickets. Barely anyone bought it. It was one of the most painful experiences I've ever had, and I was devastated. I thought about giving up and going back to pharmacy, but instead, I decided to learn from the experience. I reached out to my audience, asked them what they really wanted from me, and used that feedback to create a much better product. And the next launch, it was a huge success. This is the entrepreneurial roller coaster. The highs are higher than anything you'll ever experience in a nine to five, but the lows can be pretty low too. But here's the secret. It's all part of the journey. It's all helping you grow, evolve, and become the best version of yourself. And now I wake up excited every day, ready to take on new challenges, ready to help more people, and ready to keep growing. And that's something no nine to five job can give you. The person you become on this journey, that's the real reward. The confidence you gain, the skills you develop, the impact you have on others, that's priceless. Sure, the freedom is amazing, the money is great, but the sense of purpose, the feeling of building something meaningful, the joy of helping others achieve their dreams, that's what really makes this journey worthwhile. So there you have it. Why I'll never work a nine to five job again, and why you might want to consider breaking free too, at least from a traditional nine to five. I personally think that remote jobs, especially ones that teach you in-demand skills, give you a ton of freedom without having all of the pains of being a business owner. So that can be a really good choice for a lot of people as well. But from the illusory job security that left my family homeless, to the soul crushing routine that stifled my growth, to the income ceiling that limited my impact, the nine to five world just couldn't give me what I really wanted out of life. But by taking the leap in entrepreneurship, by building my own online business, I've created a life of freedom, purpose, and unlimited potential. And the best part, you can do it too. It's not about hating on traditional jobs. They have their place. And some people genuinely thrive in that environment. But for those of us who want more, more freedom, more growth, more impact, there's another way. Remember, you've got one life, one chance to make an impact, one opportunity to create the life that you want. Don't let it slip away in a cubicle, counting down the hours until next weekend. Take that leap, build
build that business, create that YouTube channel. The world is waiting for what you have to offer. Now I did make a video where I went kind of deep on how I built this creator business to you know multiple six figures per month. And you can check that video out by clicking right here.